So right now I'm going to go through showing you how to connect your app to your Apple TV, the uh, App TV remote. So this is the actual, I downloaded it from the App Store. Here's the actual remote app. Go and open it up. It's my Apple TV. It's all connected, turned on. So first thing I need to do, add a device. And it's going to give me a little code. And then I have to go to my actual Apple TV, into my settings, down to remotes. And it's going to say to add my iPad. And it's going to want me to add the code that it gave me. So I enter the code, hit done, paired. So now down here you're going to see it's going to connect to my actual Apple TV. So stuff I can access on my Apple TV I can access here, uh, music, radio, song, and the actual Apple TV remote. So up here I have a couple little icons, click on that, actually accesses the remote as you normally would. So then if I click in as if I would normally in Netflix. So this just gets rid of the little Apple TV. The small remote makes it a little easier particularly if you're wanting to search something. So here you'd normally with the Apple TV remote you'd have to scroll through each letter down here, with the actual remote, I don't know. I don't know what movies are. Uh, let's just type in the. Pretty sure something will pop up. So there you go. So it just types it up there. It makes it easier, especially when searching, because especially if you don't really know the name of a movie or a TV show, just typing it in makes it a lot easier. So hide. So I don't want to watch anything on Netflix, so I'm just going to back on out. If I hit done, it gets rid of the actual Apple TV remote. And it's got these small little settings down here for radio, albums, if you have downloaded music, artists, songs, playlists, genres. So that's just a quick walkthrough, quick uh, way to connect to your... Apple TV using your iPad so now I can access it through my iPad whenever I need to.